Okay, we're getting a fight almost immediately. Like, that was pretty early. And another melee song? Okay, we are fighting again. Um, so we can steal, but he can't. Oh no, it's the same song as before, okay. Okay, they are like two unclashable. Generate one wild hunt unit next turn. On use. He only has one body part. All skills target Heathcliff wins and counter if Heathcliff dies. If target's H current HP is higher than this unit, it's clash power plus two and deal to do some more. Oh, that's dangerous. Like an enrage kind of thing. If not at minus 45 SP, heal 15 SP. That feels like a band aid fix to the whole like spiraling up and down of the sanity. It is pretty much what I suggested. Oh shit, that's bad. Should I do Runty right now? The remaining activations thing is like scaring me. So what we're gonna do instead is like, what is? Maybe get a shield or something. It's unclashable anyway, you know. If it's unclashable, then. Then we do this. Is you know, I'd, I'd, I'd rather I'd actually defend against this. Okay, and I'm just gonna take one over. And the others are just gonna... I guess we're gonna... We're gonna set shit up here, aren't we? Get some Trevor on this boy. Okay. Was this the first time I ever somewhat successfully used a defense skill? Why, yes, it was. Thank you for asking. Yay. Uh, here we are. More unclashable attacks. I assume there's like an upper limit of how many wild hunt units he can summon, so... Flash when gain one attack, now up one damage up. Alright. They're using defense skills. Gain 20 additional shield HP for every surviving ally. If this unit has remaining shield HP a tenant, lowest dagger threshold. Hmm. I wonder if there's someone we should focus on. Focus on him. This time I'm gonna. No, no, I'm gonna eat them. Someone else that can take this over? Uh, successfully? It's neutral? Rugging? Neutral? Oh, crap. Okay, we're gonna. I'm afraid of being overwhelmed by them, you know? Oh my god, the lyrics finally make sense now, too. <laughs> Wishing you a better life without me by your side. Oh my god, I didn't even pick it up when I heard it the first time around. Okay. Oh, we got some AoE. That's a lot of shield. Uh, we need some SP. Oh, we desperately need some SP. Okay, he now has this attack twice. So thank god they are using defense skills still. So. Gain offense level up. Oh, we can have that. On use, if target is 5 plus sinking, inflict offense level. Down. Okay, let's see if we can. Like, we can win rate most, except for this one is a neutral. 
wonder if we can replace that. Like, who's the... Who's... Who's doing... It's also scary. Yeah, yeah, we're going with that. We're gonna trust the system. That is most likely the best cause of action, sorry. I know. Oh my god, he's win rating in the last battle? What the fuck is he doing? I'm being lazy again. That's fine. Well, watch me win this. First try. I know, it's nerfed, okay? You don't need to tell me. Well, you, you can tell me. Like, for like a fourth time or something. During the course of this chapter. <laughs> oh shit, oh yes! Oh no! Oh no! Well, only two attacks. Ooh! I didn't expect her to do it! <laughs> okay, thank you, Dawn. That was pretty good, though. Unclashable. Hobbit start. Plus 100% to the amount of stagger threshold raised from stagger... Oh, wait. Raised from tremor burst and any other stagger threshold raising effect. On him? On you, supply free attack power up and free damage up to all allies, including this unit next turn. So we need him to get staggered now. That's what it's telling me. Stagger this bitch. You'll get shoved in this coffin too. How about how about a body sack, my friend? Huh? That would be pretty thematic, wouldn't it? These two clashing. Oh, it's unclashable. Not okay. This is dangerous though, because I can't just let these through, can I? This one, especially. Heathcliff will have to deal with that. Do I have, like, this gains tremor? This ga inflicts tremor? Do I have a tremor burst? Okay, yeah, yeah, this one can tremor burst. Oh my god, I only have one burst. Ooh. Oh my god. I don't know if this is to play or not. This is, okay, it's not gonna happen first try right? then. Sorry. Oh, we're not gonna be able to go for this, are we? Okay, Otis can take that one. Because she has less. Uh, she has more than 10 SP, so it's not gonna inflict offense level down. The plus coin drop is a shame, but n no, not much helping it. Oh, instead of doing that, we could be doing this. Which doesn't deal more damage, but. Maybe it's gonna... Oh no, it's not gonna push her into getting staggered. But it's gonna help us sanity-wise. Do we have... Like, do we have vehicles at Tremor Burst? No. Okay. Yeah, let's just... I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm hoping for here. I'm, I'm gonna have to see how this plays out, really. What they expect me to do. Ah, for shame, fast, for shame. Oh, come on, Don. Faust even gave you SP, okay? Good. Yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, is it? Yeah, the tremor of this was not enough. They now all have attack skill final power. Oh, well, well, well. No, no. That was not a good one. We have two neutrals in here. Target has 5% negative effects. The speed is not helping me. Like the the thingy Majiggy is like oh okay he got staggered. 
anything. If we're lucky, we're also gonna snag a Linton, I believe. Yeah. Okay, that's a good turn so far. Josephine might also be close to getting staggered, actually. Yeah, okay, so we have a turn of all of them being staggered. We got some ego in. Faust needs some SP, man, we need to fluid sack. Oh, he also got staggered now. Well, what's happening suddenly? <laughs> suddenly all of them are staggered before anything even happens. Is this a lucky break I needed? I think, yes. Okay, except for just... Uh, again, like, does she, does she have, like, an unstaggered thingy? Oh, yeah, if staggered, recover from staggered state. One time max. That happened the last time, too. The question is, what do I do? The game wants me to focus on him, but I'm not sure that's the right play. So we're gonna see who who's gonna take this uh, success. Wait, what's this? Was it? It's suggesting Heathcliff. I think that's better. Gain how? Like spend five tremor. We don't have any tremor at all. This is dominating. We're gonna do that instead. This is also definitely gonna kill her. Now, who else do we kill? I'm tempted to let the beast live because the HP are so high. I think Kindley is a bigger threat. Like 84? Like 37, which means we're at like 120 or something. better to just focus on, on him more if the ads are just entirely useless. There's only one wave to this, but... Hmm. It can't just be that, can it? Oh, come on, Rodian. She fumbled. She could have been dead, you know? Oh, this is... Oh, 3 HP. Okay. He's gonna die to some bullshit. Most likely. Alright, let's see. Um, we can actually do this. I think we will. What the fuck is this unopposed? Is there any attack going through? Actually, all attacks of him going through. Now we need to do this ourselves. Um, okay. It's favorite. Dominating. Okay. What attacks remaining? Dominating. Dominating. Uh, this. Let's do it like this. So if the attack gets lost, it's not gonna be. Well, rather, it's not gonna be wasted on these or something. In fact, I don't know. Should the separate first? Should I just ignore these two because they're gonna die to the AoE? I wonder, I wonder. Are they or like what comes first? The first free to fight or like the the free of theirs? I'm okay with them attacking me if if they go first, I think. Like I'm not gonna waste an attack on them. However, here it's favorite. It's dominating, okay. Um the others are gonna the others I say. Wait, I don't want that. Do it here. 
trigger tremor first. Yeah, we have... I think we have enough tremor. We can start triggering it again. Okay, that, that's looking better. They looks like at least one of them came first. I was fumbled on the damage, but it's still gonna be enough to um, to kill the two that were low. He doesn't give us SP as well. Oh, he did summon two new ones, of course. Wait a second, how many? Is there like an upper limit or not? What happens now if he has like two more of these? There's something in here about this? Um, no. That's curious. Okay. On this oh yeah, yeah, we should use that almost almost immediately. Healing when we stagger someone with the infinite supply of enemies, that is that's peak. Now did we kill one of them? Maybe Linton. 72. Oh, Otis can do it by herself, you know? We can maybe hope that she can at least. The question is, do we attack this guy too, or do we, do we keep working on him, maybe? I think I'd rather work on him. Again, it could be like the wrong play. I don't know. Remains to be seen. Wait. Oh, okay. Mandatory cutscene again. My attack didn't come through. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I was hoping for something like this. There's a different version to the, to the, to the track. Kind of cute. Okay, every Catherine. If both hands are at one HP, become immobilized. Okay, we need to get the hands low because she has one HP. I'm sure we cannot defeat her like that. If there is a hand with two plus HP, gain ten protection. All resistance values become 0.2. Both hands are at one. Protection expires. When clashing against Heathcliff, clash power minus three and deal 50% less damage against Heathcliff. Wins encounter of Heathcliff. Nice. It's all pointless. Okay, the right hand and the left hand of Catherine. Jim Moon has a real bone of like fighting hands. <laughs> Remaining shield value 404. Hey, the track is not different. Uh, when clashing against Heathcliff, clash power minus three. You can stagger as long as the unit's HP is at one. The HP does not drop below one. If the other hand is at two plus HP at the next turn and after the turn which this hand reaches one, the unit heals HP equal to 50% of the other hand's HP around the Okay, uh, so it's like a case of get them both down, pretty much. No. Who the fuck is doing that? Who is, who is it? <laughs> Wait. 
Oh, it's the it's the the ego that's being reused. Can we somehow hit both hands with this? Yeah, like that. We hit both hands. Instead. Okay, so I'm gonna just throw myself. Thank you very much. Um, do we have this one taken over. Let's take this one over. Man, I sure hope our tremor remains on Heathcliff. Like on, on the Elkin Heathcliff. Okay. We're gonna do this here and this here. Ignore her. One? Well, no. Take minus 100% damage. She cannot just burst through the shit. Oh my god, fucking hell, Heathcliff. If, I had, if, if he had lost it, he has clashed. That was... They have very low stack of fresh ones. Is it a low or a high stack of threshold if it's hard to reach? Like, what's the actual, like... How, sh how do you... How do you phrase it? Shit, guys, what the... F okay, Rodian. Um, I know. Not for you. But you will have to try your best, at least. We can we can take that one over. Because we have <laughs> good, good. It's like dominating dominating, favorite dominating. Way better than what the the thing it was suggesting. And they are pretty pretty even HP wise, I'm okay with it. I'm very much enjoying this fight so far. Like, there's a certain amount of thinking involved, but not, like, too overly wordy complicated. Different faces. You know, switching it up. I, I always love the trope of, oh, the enemies need to die at the same time. Like, it's like such an, such an old World of Warcraft thing. Bond in my heart, really. Two neutrals here. Fast can take one of these. Also, the track is really good. Like at, at least uh, the non-vocal part is amazing. The vocal one, I, I don't know about. Yeah. What is? Let's focus on this one. She's also attacking. Uh, unclashable though. Apply two fragile to it. By two fragile and two comma attack power up to all other allies, gain bind and damage up next turn. Getting dangerous now, I guess. Did this one is down. I think. Oh shit. Was not enough on that. Oh, shit. If hands HP are at 1, deal 0 damage. This is a 1, so it's gonna happen last. Which means that I have time to... 
to deal with this. And I should just send everyone on this, really. Maybe... Break the free value becomes stagnant. It is stagnant. Let's... Let's get the clashes in first. Did we? We have turned around. No, like maybe we should start working on her. Yeah, at the same time, she is also using the shield skill. I'm gonna send one on this just in case. I don't know. I'm, I'm not trusting this, you know. Okay. After attack gain one breaking heart, on hit inflict breaking heart. Inflict? Yeah, shit. Th this is the reason why I sent multiple people on her. Even though Otis could have been enough for it. Okay, the hands are now both staggered. Definitely. Alright, both at 1 HP run. <clears throat> Which means that she should deal zero damage. Can you hear me? Can you hear my voice? I suddenly realized that an unfamiliar voice is echoing directly in my head. Is this is this sound coming directly through the golden bow? You hit a two clock head? I turn around to look at Heathcliff. He appears exhausted from the prolonged battle, both in body and spirit. The golden bow that once pierced his chest was long removed after my clock turned. But its influence seemed to be lingering for some reason. Catherine? Heathcliff whispers. Listen closer. Love that. What is happening? A frail, desperate voice echoes. The voice shudders so terribly. This is not at all what I wished for. No! I carefully ask the voice a question because, mind you, I'm a clock and no one can understand me most of the time. So all of this is... I never wanted Heathcliff who exists for Catherine and only Catherine. I don't think she can hear our voices. All I wanted was for every Heathcliff to be happy. That's not how it works, though. All I wanted was to kill every existence of myself. Like, that's like that's retarded. <laughs> Please, someone help me. I guess she was in a bad, like, in a bad space. Like she was being manipulated as well by Nelly and then Herman and everyone pretty much. Can anyone hear me? Shout, shout that we can hear her. Surely Heathcliff must. Like, Heathcliff modifier plus five. Yeah. Good. This is. Warm light of the golden bell begins emanating from somewhere. Heathcliff, is that you? Yeah, Kathy, I'm back, I'm... Sorrow, joy, wrath, obsession. I can feel the storm of emotions raging within Heathcliff. Oh, yet all is silent. I cannot hear his voice. The same emotions can be felt from Catherine's voice. Bloody hell. Cold slowly takes over the warmth as it grows weaker. I can no longer hear Catherine's voice. I knew that it won't be this easy. But Heathcliff refuses to let disappointment, disappointment hold him back, and said he forges on with determination. Love that. The other sinners follow suit, prepared for battle. All sinners heal 10 SP, which wasn't much needed right now, but it's welcome. Heathcliff gains haste for the rest of the encounter. All sinners gain haste. Yeah, it's pretty good. No, not the best stat to get, but okay. <laughs> He's now on his horsey horse. Clash power minus 6 and a clash against targets of lightning of suffering. We still have the breaking heart. I think I can get away with that. Dominating, 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 dominating. Yeah. We're looking good resource wise. I'm gonna keep my ego this turn. Man, the Otis identity is so strong. She rolls so high consistently. How? Like, what is her tier on, like, popular tier lists or something? Not that I followed it or something, but I would be interested if, if it's just my... 
Like, if, if I'm just such a shit that I'm amazed by her, or if she's actually strong and I stumbled my way into using her. Like the mole autism. Okay, uh, there's an AoE here. Right for death, dollar hand. Can we do this? Dominating, 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 yeah. There's not much to, to like, manually do here, mind you. I love the glitching. Oh, here we go. Lightning suffering. Clash when you flick breaking hard and deal 7 HP damage. Clash lose or after unopposed attack. Game breaking hard. Take 7 HP damage. Oh, we don't want to have an unopposed attack. Okay. Reduced by 1 at skill end. I wonder if she should clash against this too. If it doesn't enter right now. You know what, let's let's set it up ourselves and make doubly sure that we win this because he's gonna have like dash power minus six, so the ATK Wait three one is the most dangerous here, I believe. But I have to deal with. Do this. Okay. We're gonna set up some I'm gonna set up some trim. Okay. We gained it, the lightning right away? I didn't really notice when it happened. Anymore. Hey, he's about to get staggered actually. Oh, yeah, it's a good thing we did that. Okay. He is staggered now. <clears throat> That's pretty sweet. I wonder if it's gonna face transition again though. It's not the last we've seen of Matthew, surely. <laughs> using this opportunity for like a full damage? Uh, any, any colors I want to top off? Like maybe using this instead. I know this would convert. Yeah, I'm just, like, I'm afraid he's gonna face transition in a second, so the tremor conversion is gonna be lost, and I'd rather use it. It's a good skill. Next turn or something. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, so he's back. Back again. Good, it's pretty much the same, looks like. Did the uh, HP values change or something? Dominating, dominating. Favorite and dominating. I'm gonna take that. Um, however... Who's... If We now have the advantage of being fully topped up when it comes to sanity. And having some ego attacks if push comes to shove. This, this is dangerous a little bit. That was some good damage. Though. Wait, is she on zero HP? Did it just damage? I'm pretty sure I just saw zero HP on Catherine. Did I break it somehow? <laughs> My head fills with the voice once again. I never should have summoned that Catherine here. I thought, I thought Heathcliff would never have to suffer again if every Catherine were to no longer exist. But I should have known that Heathcliff would have fought the very same. I can feel a heart-rending sorrow. Uh, I never should have fled. I should have talked to her instead of running away. Heathcliff was right. Every unspoken word, every unshared discussion only broke their hearts further apart from each other, until their words began to run parallel, never to converge. If only I could go back. Is there truly no way out of this trap that woman set for us? Heathcliff shouts. Kathy, I... Just as Heathcliff began to speak, a shrill cry tears through our heads. Catherine, do not obstruct me now! We promised, didn't we? We promised to kill all of us so that Heathcliff may find happiness. That cutting voice is tinged with an odd warmth, like a different voice. No, I... Maybe the two Catherines are vying for control. Yes. 
What if a colossal hand that is twitching and stumbling? Maybe this is uh, our chance to neutralize that hand. A rough envy advantage. Heathcliff again should should have like good chance of doing this. Yeah, no. no yeah, yeah, okay. Heathcliff immediately knew what I was going for and leaped towards the left towards the end. This can't be! Good, we caught off guard and neutralized the hand. I instinctively knew that we were so, so close. If he feels 10 SP, he gains 2 damage for 4 turns. And both hands gain 2 bind, okay. Also, 2 attack power down. Yeah, alright. Um. Okay. Dominating, dominating, fair, dominating. Who's, who's doing that? Uh, Don, you're gonna... Are you actually gonna do that, Don? This... Yeah, it's replacing it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, Rodi keeps fumbling these. Look, she's still low with HP wise as well. What's happening with her? Maybe it's just a bad idea. I mean, the Rose Banner guys are pretty much outclassed by the Eurydivia IDs, tremor wise, I think. And the new T Corp one for Dawn is also like, crazy good, isn't it? At least it looks like it on here. I would love to use it. A total of one damage! Okay, um... <clears throat> okay, everything's dominated and... We need to focus fire on this, maybe. This... How much we can do, really? I could have switched skills around to let Otis attack the other one. Oh, look at this. Ronin is here to show me that she can, in fact, actually do something. <laughs> oh my god. That did it. How about she keeps healing up again immediately? Oh, this is gonna inflate fast damage on this. Clash ball. Can we just go for damage then? I mean... Not much point to it otherwise. <laughs> We're gonna have to just chew through the shield now? Like if all hands HP had one deal zero damage, what about if there's no hands? I wonder. It's in revenge mode as well. Like tanking. Being free defense level down, free damage up. That's dangerous. She's already at 8 damage up. It really depends on if this thing. takes into consideration that the hands are gone. It's either gonna fuck us up massively or not work at all for her. Wonder if we can chew through the shield first. It looks good so far. Yeah, I think, I think the shield is gone. So that should face transition her again, I believe. At the end. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, 
개체에게 일격을 가하는 데 성공했습니다. 샴페인을 가져오기엔 너무 이른 타이밍이긴 하겠지만 이 전투가 성공적으로 끝나면 모두의 희생을 기리며 축복이 되는 것도 Heal damage equal to 100% of the target's max HP. The fuck, dude? So it's all right, gonna kill him? <laughs> he also can't get stigma. I mean, hmm? like, that is. And, like, I, I guess it has to happen, but don't we lose if Heathcliff dies? Am I missing something here? Do I need to kill him? He can't get staggered, but he can die. Can he? I, I'm not sure I can deal 975 damage one turn, though. But if it deals 100% of the target's max HP... That doesn't include shield. So if I use the shield skill, surely I will survive. But at the same time, he's gonna go through my second threshold immediately and kill me. So I'm, I'm not sure what's like, what's what. I tell you what. I don't know, like this could be it. I don't know. <laughs> Hmm. What's what's gonna happen? I wonder. I I was not that. It did say like target unchangeable and stuff, right? So... Wait, was I able to, to clash again? No. Did it also say unclashable or not? Like should I have. Build up a body sag? Okay, damn it, this is Kathy's coffin. Still cold and dark inside. It's it's a story attack. Story attack! Don't worry, I'm not we're panicking. You rain trapped here all along. Just for my happiness. You who hate the dark so so much. All affinities at bunch burst forth from the coffin. Surely only he can do it, yeah. Get the plus 20 so you don't fuck this up. Good, good, good! If only I waited to hear words to the end. Is he gonna get healed, hopefully? If only I didn't run away, if only I approached you to talk to you first. What a witless mess I am. But! You've broken free from the coffin, Eve Pointless, it's all pointless. You should have remained in there, suffocating in the worst regret of your life. Shut your trap. I won't run anymore, not here at the end of all things. I know it's too late, but I will take this chance before even this passes forever. Even if this chance won't lead me to my happiness. Even if path... If this path won't end up with your happiness. Because I know for certain that, as long as our words are left unsaid, no one will ever be happy. Not good. You're right, to wish for your happiness without even talking to you first, out of fear. Should have never done that, I was wrong. I think. I heard Kathy's voice. Heathcliff fully heals his SP. All sinners heal 15 SP. His determination changed to courage to approach. What, what about his health? He's on one health, are you fucking shitting with me? Wait, something happened here. Courage to approach. Turn and heal 10 SP. Gain free attack power up if you have protection return. When attacked, heal 5 SP. Gain one offense level up next turn. Turn start. If it lasts, then 0 SP gain free attack power. As long as there are one or more other surviving allies and there's a cut, if Cliff's HP does not drop below 1. Okay, so we want him to clash with the dangerous attacks. Okay. Do any of us have like a lightning thing? What's happening here? Why is this only favorite? House. Do, do you maybe want to use like a like a cheeky old TV sword? To turn this into a dominating attack as well? Okay. Not more is gonna happen, right? Maybe like one last Kathy um Kathy uh face or something? <laughs> Thank you. 
So he should pretty much has the same passive that Ishmael had in her chapter, where she couldn't die as long as someone else was alive. But for her it was hidden. <laughs> they only stumbled upon it randomly. Okay. Pretty short. I have to announce it every time it happens. Sorry. Good. I don't know what this tremor type does, by the way. I have not read up on it yet. But deals some mad damage. Hopeless. Nah, surely not, my friend. This is hopeless. 12 plus 1? This is hopeless. Here we go. Huh? We're gonna turn that frown upside down. But suddenly it's all dominating, even this. That's curious. Yeah, okay. I have once more not used the special power of halving my opponent's speed. Should be dead next turn. Or maybe even now? No, not gonna deal 200 damage. Oh, well, it's close though. Looks like she's gonna do some crazy damage here. Yeah. <sighs> He actually really is close, and he's staggered on 16 HP. This is like a waste turn. But offended. Good. Shame Angela's talking, but because it's the moment I was waiting for, like body sacking him. 